Welcome to Table Talk Live, a Mahjong-centric variety show. On this episode, we are going to be doing a show-and-tell, a Mahjong-centric show-and-tell. Welcome to the live stream. If you're just joining, say hi in chat. I was going to share one of my vintage Mahjong findings and give a shout-out for one of the few people that I purchased from. This particular individual is my go-to, lately anyway. <clears throat> hi Evelyn, hi Janet, hi CB, hi Carol, welcome Marina. Hi Irene, <laughs> hi Peggy. Okay, so we're, we're coming through now. It was a little glitchy at first, <clears throat> so I apologize for that. Welcome, we're just gonna do a quick show and tell, probably only a half an hour or so. That way I won't be keeping you too long, but I wanted to get on here and share some things that I've been purchasing. I've been conservative and very choosy because I actually am trying to live a minimalistic lifestyle. So I have to be very choosy in what I collect. I'm sure if any of you are collectors, you can relate and understand that sometimes collections can get a little out of control. So I am being very choosy in what I add to my Mahjong collection. And for the most part, everything that I collect is either about rules of the game, books, and old tiles and sets and betters, dice, chips, accoutrement, as Ahuva would say. So I wanted to share one of my vintage books with you tonight. All right, let me just check. Uh, do you still have the video that shows how show and tell all the 2020 on the new card? Yes. Hi, Myrna. Yes, I do. Um, I I will, let's see, if you, if you could send me an email at michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-E at mahjongcentral.com and I'll send you a direct link because I know I, I have thousands of videos. So it might be a challenge for you to find it. You could try to find it on my YouTube channel by typing in card analysis 2020 and it should show up. But if you have trouble finding it, just send me an email and I'll send you a direct link. Uh, it's on YouTube somewhere, yeah, w within uh, some 2,000 videos. But if you if you type in card new card analysis 2020, you should find it. It's still there. So uh, welcome to the live stream. Okay, everybody can see and hear me. So I was just sharing that these show and tells is kind of a new thing. This is the second one. And I'm just going to share little bits and pieces from my modest vintage Mahjong collection. I'm starting slow and it's going to be very controlled. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, thank you, Myrna. All right. So are you ready? Are you ready for the Mahjong find? I'll start sharing. Here it is. I'll wait for the stream to catch up to me. 1947, that's it. Booklet, 1947, it's in really great shape. I was very happy to find it. And I'll be showing you bits and pieces out of it. It is copyrighted, so I have to be careful not to show too much. Here's the back. You can see what great quality it's in. 1947. I was very impressed by this on, on eBay when I bought it. So this is 
An Authentic System of Playing Chinese Tiles by Dorothy Meyerson. And Dorothy Meyerson was the National Mahjong President. Let me see if the year is in here. Acting President of the National Mahjong League at the time. It's a fascinating little booklet. And what is interesting, I'm just going to show little pieces of it, okay? But what's interesting about this one is that it has tabs with the categories of the card that we currently have today. So there's a tab for each category, and I'll talk about them. But I just wanted you to see them in this booklet. Let's see, I'll wait for the... I'll wait for it to catch up to me. But you can see the tabs here. So I, I have seen that this is one of the first times that it would, their writings were divided by category. If I'm right, if I'm incorrect, someone please correct me. But I've not seen anything earlier than this where they're divided by category. There may be booklets... Let me see. I wanted to see on um, my oldest National Mahjong League card is from 1941, and it is divided by categories. But the categories in here, the first one is honors. Honors. They used to call the Wind and Dragon category honors, and that term is used in Asian versions. Honors are wins and dragons. So the category in this booklet for wins and dragons is honors. And it has all wins and dragons and flowers. And at this time, flowers were jokers. So you could use jokers, I believe, for or the flowers for any tile. Let me just double check. Let's see here. I'm looking in the uh, gloss. They have a, a very short glossary in here. I want to see if flowers is part of it. Yes, tiles are used as jokers. But it doesn't say if you can use it for anything. I believe they could even be used as singles in at this time. And I do see a depiction of a flower in a hand. If you can see that, there's a flower there in a wind hand and there's a single flower as a joker. So let me wait until the game catches up and you can see that there's a bit of a delay. So I'm going to wait till it gets caught up there so I'm sure to hold it so you can see the illustration there. Flowers were used as single tiles. <laughs> That's pretty cool in their jokers. So there's uh, flowers as pairs and singles in here. The other thing that is interesting about this particular booklet is there were both uh, quince and septet, sep, let's see, sextets, six of a kind, and septets, seven of a kind. Sextets and septets are in this booklet. I thought that was really interesting. And one reason why I really wanted this booklet I've been sort of tracking the changes of the game over the years because I find it interesting that they were just trying to find their way with the game. And in 1947, they had quince, well, they had single pair, pung, kong, quince, sextets, and septets. If you can believe that, it is pretty cool. <laughs> Um, oh, and the other thing that I thought was really interesting is they called it Kong, K-O-N-G. They called it Kwong, Q-U-O-N-G. Here, let's see if I can find an example of a Kwong. Kwong. They do have concealed and exposed hands. I want to see if I can find a, an example of one of their Kwongs. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. A Kwong of Dragons. Let's see here. Oh, there's a Quint and a Kwong. Okay, here's one that I can show you. There's a Kwong of Dragons. Red Dragons there. How did Mahjong fare in World War II anyway? 
Well, I bet they played in their homes, probably where it was safe. So I'm going to wait for the lag to catch up so I'm sure that the picture is in, in view. There's a Kwong for you. All right. So I thought that was another one of the fascinating things about this book. And one of the reasons why I really wanted to share these, do these show and tells, is to share the progression of the game over the years because it really is a fascinating journey. And the way that the league was trying to find their way and perfect the game as they saw it and, what, and to uh, bring it to its current sort of format because it has changed over the years. I think it has stabilized since 1972, I believe is when they stabilized the flowers. I'll have to double check that. But I, I believe that is when they stabilized with eight flowers and eight jokers, 1972. If anybody in the chat right now can verify that, otherwise I'll look it up here in a moment. So those are a couple of the things that I wanted to share in the book, other than uh, the categories. I just want to go over those really quick. We have honors, 13579, 2468, 369, same numbers, quince, addition, and multiplication. So they had both addition and multiplication in 1947. I thought that was interesting too. And the last thing that I want to share is that at the very back of the book, there's a folder. And in that folder are cutouts of tiles. So there's an actual set of tiles on paper in this booklet. So if you didn't have a set of tiles, you could use the little cards. I think it might be a little hard to manipulate these maybe, but they, they may do with them. So this is a complete set. I'll show you each page here. There's, there are the honors, Winds and Dragons. And then we have dots. There's the dots. It's a complete set. I'm very happy about that. And then here we have bams. Or no, cracks. Those are cracks. Here are the bams. So those are the cards, and then here are the flowers. Flowers, there's even a joker down here at the bottom, which I'm not quite sure about. Extra tiles and Malo Joker, it says. I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, I thought there were 18 uh, flowers in this one, but I only see eight here, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe, oh wait, there are flowers right there. So there's four, eight, eight, and eight, or uh, let's see, eight, 16. 16 flowers here, so I'll have to double check. I hope this is a full set of cards. Maybe it is missing some because I thought I had read in here that in this year, the flowers were made up of 18. Let me, let me double check. Um, sets have only 8 or 10 flowers. And the new method of play adopted by the National Mahjong League requires 18 flowers. So some of those joker tiles or extra extras here could be used for the extras. So yeah, this, is, this would be complete. So we have 16, and then we have two jokers here down at the bottom, the Malo joker, and then the uh, spares down there at the bottom. So I would say this is a complete booklet, and I thought it was fascinating, so I snagged it, because it was in, I think, really, really good shape. So let me, I want to, uh, let's see, I'm going to double check on chat real quick. Welcome, everyone, if you just came in after my little show and tell there. 
Oh, no worries. No worry. worries, Carol. Thank you for coming. Uh, let's see. Janice said, do you think they would paste those on tiles? I don't think so. I, I think that those were for people who didn't have a set at home. And maybe they were teaching themselves how to play the game. Because this is an instruction book. It tells them how to play the game. It's kind of a combination of Mahjong Made Easy and the card in one booklet. Because it goes through a definition of the tiles how to set up for a game, how to build the wall, uh, how to go through the Charleston, the object of the game is in here, the play, uh, the different sets that you have, quongs, quince, sextets, septets, concealed and exposed hands. They have suggestions, memorizing hands, defensive play, and then a glossary, followed by scoring and a better guide. Then it goes into, into rulings and penalties, mahjong and error, which they actually call that's it in error. That's it in error. <laughs> that's kind of funny. And then there are variations of that's it, including two-handed, three-handed, where the Charleston is omitted, five-handed and six-handed. There's a little section on rules for betters, and then it goes into the categories. This is the official standard of 1947 hands, illustrated. It's fascinating. I love it. I'm very, very happy with this particular purchase. So I will take very good care of that. I'm so glad you're here, Carol. All right, so I just want to share about where where I get a lot of my vintage things. I, I have other items that I'm going to be sharing in future show-and-tell episodes, but my go-to lately has been Stanley Chris, and he has a few Facebook groups, and he also has an eBay store. And so I just wanted to give a shout out to Stanley and say thank you for your work and for having a storefront with amazing, amazing products. So let me just quickly show you his storefront. Here's his store on eBay. If you search for D. Chris on eBay, you'll find his store. And he has some amazing Mahjong items, vintage items, which are all very, very good quality. I'm very happy with everything I've purchased from his store. So I just wanted to show that to you really quick. Look at these betters. I actually bought one. I bought one of these betters down here with the word better on it. Hold on, let me grab it. I was going to save this for another show and tell, but since we're on the page, I'll just show it to you. There it is. There's the better. Here's the back. Look at that quality is amazing. And it's got east, the wall, and then it has two through four for bedding. Better's wheel. It's a better's wheel. Isn't that cool? I love it. I saw better's and I thought, okay, I got to have that. And it's the same color as the book. It's kind of a nice coincidence. I thought it would look really nice in my collection, so I decided to get them both. So that's my show and tell for tonight. Let me uh, also mention that I have links to Stanley's eBay store and his three Facebook groups where he posts videos and there's a community in each of those groups. So if you're interested in vintage items, check it out.
eBay store name spelled out, please. It is D, let's see, where is it? Let me go back here. D, Chris. D, Chris. K-R-I-S-S. -S. There's a link in the video description below for it. And he has been on eBay since uh, August of 1999. He has a great reputation. A, A, Quint Plus. He has a Quint of Pluses on his storefront. That's great feedback. I've been very happy with every purchase that I've had. You're welcome. I hope you all enjoyed that show and tell. My collection is small, so show and tells probably will be a limited series. I have a few things to share. Well, more than a few. Let me see here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I probably have about a year's worth of, if I do one a month, the first, I believe first Tuesday of the month is when I'm going to do these show and tells. I have enough for probably the next year. So if you enjoy this kind of a video, you can look forward to that. The first Tuesday of the month and I'll share something from my collection. And if I continue to purchase vintage items, then it'll continue that way. You're, wel you're welcome, Karen. I hope you all enjoyed it. Virtual Mahjong Museum. Yes, and oh, I have a really special finding there. Some of my purchases have been an investment. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> so that'll be, even though it's, it's um, an actual Japanese Mahjong finding, but it is fascinating just the same. So I'll be very happy to share that with you. So I, I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate the camaraderie. Oh, look, hey, I just noticed uh, Kathleen DeMarco said, Mr. Chris has helped me salvage a few sets by selling me replacement tiles. That is awesome. That is one of his groups, his Facebook groups. It's a, re a refurbishment and replacement uh, group. Let's see, I just want to double check on the the chat to see if I've missed any any questions or anything. All right, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you look forward to the next one. First Tuesday of next month and we'll do another show and tell, all right? Oh, you're welcome. Hi, is that Dara or Donna? I see Modern Mahjong in chat. Is that Dara or Donna? I'm so glad you're here. You're welcome, Myrna. Thank you, moderators, for being here to help with chat. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.